everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, folks. Comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank you folks for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has the links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks, today at 7 p.m. Eastern, today at 7 p.m. Eastern, we're doing a live radio show. We're going to be talking about the Jets' upcoming game. We're going to be discussing all the goings-on. There's a lot of things happening surrounding this New York Jets football team. Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. Now, with that said and done and put to the side, to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets upcoming game against Raiders. Boy, oh boy. <clears throat> and I got a question, man. Will Zach Wilson survive this game against the Raiders? It's a real question. Comment down below. Because, <laughs> man, the way things are going right now, whew, let me tell you. All right. Now, before I get into offense, defense, I want to start, okay, at a point that uh, needs to be started at, and it's with coaching. Listen, this is going to be a big challenge for Robert Sella, the New York Jets head coach this upcoming week. He has got to get this team focused, get their heads in the right direction, and get them ready for the Raiders coming off of a short week because, you know, we played on Monday night. There's a lot of things rolling around here, and there's a lot of frustration since the loss to the Chargers at home in prime time in front of everybody, okay? There's been, I mean, everything in the book, everything in the kitchen sink has been thrown at Robert Seller. People want him to make swinging changes to the team, get rid of Zach Wilson, find another starter. Why aren't you guys getting, I mean, everything is falling down on top of him right now. And he has got to get this team ready, okay? Not only get them focused and get them ready, but get them ready to swing West Coast. If you're a Jets fan and you're watching, the same way I've been a Jets fan, I know y'all have seen it, we have struggled swinging West Coast for years. We have. If you go back and watch the Denver Bronco game earlier this year, we swung and went West Coast, and we literally slept walked through like the first half of that game. We played horrific. <laughs> oh my that was so bad. We played really bad in the first half. We were able to clean things up and get it together. But, man, we made quite mistakes, and, and the team came out just looking lethargic and wasn't getting it done. We cannot play like that against this Raiders team, okay? This Raiders team has been rejuvenated. They've gotten rid of Josh McDaniel, Antonio Pierce, all right? He was a good player, played with the Giants. He was a linebacker. That's now their head coach. And they just have a new swagger and a new sense of life. I said, they are rejuvenated. They believe, okay? They're, they just came off of a big win against the Giants. They're smoking in the locker room. Like, they're, they're starting to get that swag back. And the last thing that you want to do, <laughs> the last thing that you want to do against this Raiders team is come out slow, sleepy, and lethargic. They will blow our doors off. They'll blow the doors off. I'm telling you, okay? Especially with that crowd in Vegas ready to rip and let go and you think you're going to come in there and sleepwalk? You'll be sleeping, all right? You'll be sleeping on a plane when they put you on it and you leave with a loss, all right? So we got to come out firing on all cylinders, okay? And Robert Sella, Nathaniel Hackett, Albridge, all these guys have got to have this team ready, especially Nathaniel Hackett because this offense is putrid, all right? And that's where I'm going to start when I talk about the team. Listen, Zach Wilson, I talked about it. I'm wondering if he's going to survive this game, okay? Because there's so many Jets fans that want to see him bench. And I, I kind of understand, right? Things are not going well with the offense. A lot of people are blaming pretty much everything uh, that's going wrong with the offense on him. Is he playing the greatest, you know, uh, quarterbacking game in the league? No. Is he playing like Mahomes and Allen and Hurts and Burrow and Herbert? No, he's not. 
But Zach isn't necessarily everything that's wrong here, okay? Is he playing super stellar? No. Nah. But brother, have you seen this offensive line? <laughs> Yo, Billy Turner last game was atrocious. These guys were just letting up pressure like I've never seen before. And Zach was getting the crap kicked out of him in the last game. Keep in mind, the offensive line is going to have another shakeup because Billy Turner is out for this upcoming game against the Raiders. He has a finger injury. He's actually going to get surgery. They'll figure out when he's coming back. Dwayne Brown is going to be out. So it's looking like Max Mitchell is sliding back to right tackle which is where he should have been when we played the Chargers. But Keith Carter, and, oh my Lord, Keith Carter came out. That's our off, that is our offensive line coach. They came out and said the reason why Billy Turner was playing at right tackle against the Chargers is because he has history blocking Bosa. I'm going to say that again. Keith Carter, our offensive line coach, came out and said the reason why Billy Turner was playing right tackle against Bosa was because he has a history of blocking him. That was an awful idea and it costed us greatly, okay? Max Mitchell should have been at right tackle in that game. He's now back at right tackle, but the New York Jets will have some start, new starting right guard. Maybe it's Glazer, maybe it's Newman. I don't know. I'm guessing at this point that it's going to be Chris Glazer, our backup guard. But man, another shakeup along the line that is already struggling with continuity, having issues getting guys blocked up front. Please be better against the Raiders than you were against the Chargers because Max Crosby, Max with two X's, he is not a game, man. Max Crosby, I feel like is a guy, especially rushing the edge, uh, rushing off the edge, is a guy I feel like doesn't get as much love as I believe that he should. Because honestly, with the Raiders, he's kind of like one of their only guys that can rush the edge on that level, okay? And he's been doing it for a long time in this league. <laughs> he's been playing really well for like a good time in this league, and I just don't feel like he gets the love as some of these other guys, right? Max Crosby is a game wrecker. If you don't find a way to get him blocked, he'll decapitate Zach Wilson. End of discussion, okay? If you do not find a way to get Max Crosby blocked, we're going to lose. We're going to lose big. He is a killer. He is a QB killer. And we need to make sure we take care of that. So this offensive line has a task ahead of them. And so does Nathaniel Hackett with his game plans, which need to be better. All right. Nathaniel Hackett's also one of the problems on this offense as well, because his play calling is very suspect. All right. It's been suspect and it's hurting us. OK, we also need to stop the self-inflicted wounds, the stupid penalties on offense. It's killing us. False starts. Jeremy Rucker. Have been consistent here. And uh, what did that do? Push us back, okay? Now, instead of, you know, first and seven or first and whatever it could be, well, now it's uh, it's first and we're pushing back, okay? Add five more yards to that. It's like, clean it up, bro. We've got to get it together, okay? We got to get it together. We can't start getting behind, man. Oh, that is so annoying. Bad penalties. We saw it all last game. Penalty, big penalties killing a lot of our big plays, explosive offensive plays we had in the last game too. Blocking the back, illegal motions, just stupid stuff. We've got to stop that stuff, man. All right, we got to stop it. All right. Can we run the football? That's a question I have too. Uh, our running game has been poop as of recent. We've got to get back to it. We got to get back to it. Give Brees Hall the football. The Raiders are 31st. 31st against the run defensively. If we can't run on them, who can we run on? Okay? Run the football, man. That'll help things open up. Get the ball in the hands of Brees Hall and let things roll. Also, can we please stop giving the ball to Down with Cook? Can we see more Michael Carter in the running game? Please. Alan Zard, can you catch? That's the big question. And I started talking about Alan Zard, I want to say about two games ago. I started talking about him because I started noticing this man drops everything. He drops everything. And it's mind-blowing, right? And then as I continue to watch, then you watch the Chargers game, he had a bunch of drops. This guy is 6'4 or 6'5 or whatever, but he plays like he's 5'2. It's insane. He never goes up and gets the football, and I don't understand why. You, you, you're so big, but you play so small. Clean it up and start going up to get the football. We're paying.
paying this guy. We just signed him. We're paying him like 10 plus million dollars a year. And this guy literally just drops everything and nobody's paying attention to him. Alan Lazard was horrible last game. He needs to clean it up this game. Or if I'm Robert Sulla, I would look to bench him and bring somebody else in, bring somebody else up that is actually going to go out there and catch footballs because the Raiders are going to focus on Garrett Wilson. They're going to try to double him, I'm very sure of it, and take him out the game. Alan Lazard has got to get open and he's got to start catching footballs. Or what good, what use is he to us? What use is he? I've got my eyes on Lazard. Defense. I'm not worried about our defense matched up against this Raiders offense. I'm, no disrespect to this Raiders offense. I'm not disrespecting them. But this defense has been lights out. Been lights out. They were lights out against the Chargers. Right? They're not, they're not the issue. O'Connell, we should maul him. We should maul him. All right? Quincy, Quincy Williams, uh, Huff, uh, Jermaine Johnson. Will McDonald is questionable for this game. We'll see what's going on with him. We'll see if he's able to play. If he doesn't play, is this the week that we're going to bring up, you know, Carl Lawson and, and activate him, take him off, stop having him deactivated? We'll see, right? But those guys are going to maul. And even people are starting to talk about Quinnen Williams and trying to talk about how, well, he doesn't have sack numbers. He's not getting it done. It's like, what are you guys talking about? This guy is a monster. He's wreaking havoc up front, okay? He's blowing up running games and all that. He's not an edge rusher, though, okay? He's not that. Sack numbers, when it comes to him in particular, aren't everything. He's not an edge rusher. This guy's an interior defensive lineman. Can he get after the quarterback? Yes, we know he can. He does that. But just because he has, doesn't have big sack numbers doesn't mean he's not making an impact. Listen, people are literally keying in on Quentin Williams. Guys are literally scheming to stop him up front. He's being doubled sometimes at times triple team up front. Guess what? That opens up Jermaine Johnson, Huff, and all these guys coming from the outside because all they got to do is beat their matchup and get to the QB. That's why Huff and Jermaine Johnson are taking those steps that we're seeing this year. Because guys, everybody's just focused on Quentin Williams. They have to. And even then, when they're focusing on him and double teaming him, sometimes they, can't, they still can't get him blocked. He's still causing issues and havoc up front. We got to slow down, okay? <laughs> we got to slow down, all right? There's no need to be talking about Quentin Williams and questioning whether he's having an impact this year because the sack numbers aren't huge. Like, y'all got to stop that. Y'all got to stop that. The other issue that I'm looking at with the Raiders offense, us matching up with them, is Devontae Adams, as we all know. Devontae Adams is a monster, all right? We got to make sure we lock him up, keep him under wraps, contain him. Sauce and Breed, I think, will be able to do that. Josh Jacobs is a good running back, too. We got to keep our eyes on him. He's also a guy that comes out the backfield and catch the football, so we got to watch that as well. Um, we've seen us get cooked by that, and I know the Raiders are going to try to run some screens and you know, some, some stuff like that because we do get hyper-aggressive, especially with our blitz packages. We got to watch that, right? But uh, I think our defense will be will be all right against this Raiders offense, who I, res I respect them, but our defense, I believe, is that good, all right? We just got to clean it up. <laughs> we got to clean it up, okay? With all that said, I am taking the New York Jets to beat the Las Vegas Raiders 17-7. to I think it's low scoring. 17 to 7, I am taking the New York Jets to get this win. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about this matchup with the Raiders? What are your thoughts about Zach Wilson? Do you think he'll be able to turn things around, have a better performance in this upcoming game? What are your thoughts about the Jets' offensive line? Are you concerned going into this game about the Jets' offensive line against this Raiders' defensive front, particularly Max Crosby? And what are your thoughts about the Jets' defense, man? Do you think they'll be able to get after O'Connell? Do you think they'll be able to stop and shut down Devontae Adams? Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.